Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm using my iPad, so I don't know where to look on the camera, so forgive me, but here's a little update. Um, these are the paper whites, and I only did this like three, four days ago. So here's some instructions if you did plant some. I uh, guess you can't see that. You water lightly every three days. You rotate the pot once a week because they will grow towards the sun. And once the stems get a little tall and lanky, uh, take some raffia and tie it around the stems or ribbon. And I also put cranberries around the base. They don't rot, they don't smell or anything. And that adds a little bit of Christmassy colors because you've got the red with the green. So uh, there's the update about the paper whites. Uh, just water lightly every three days. Uh, if you've got holes, make sure you put some kind of a plate here to catch that water. Also, I promised uh, a couple of you my crab dip recipe. So this is really old. So I'm going to put it up on the camera. Now keep in mind, I have uh, written, I had to quadruple this recipe when I had my Christmas party. So disregard my printing. You'll be able to um, see the difference. So here we go. Let's, I don't know if you can see, there we go. Do a screenshot of that. Okay. This crab dip was so good. Uh, so let's go over it. Two tablespoons lemon juice, two to three drops of Tabasco, a fourth cup light cream, one teaspoon of minced onion, a half a cup sour cream, a half a teaspoon garlic powder, a fourth a cup of mayonnaise, a half a teaspoon chives. You know, I think I need to buy some chives. Okay. One eight ounce package of cream cheese and two pounds of crab meat. So there you go. You flake the crab meat, pour the lemon juice over it, allow to stand for a few minutes, then mix the cream cheese, chives, mayonnaise, sour cream, and spices together. Add to the crab meat. Add cream a small amount at a time. Serve in a chafing dish with crackers or party shells. Now this is what you need to do. You need to get uh, one of those sterno things that you light on fire and you get, I think Costco and Sam's Club sells commercial chafing dishes. They're really big. I would uh, put the sterno underneath and keep it warm during the whole party. Now, to make it very festive, I would put a wreath, just a simple wreath or some greenery around the chafing dish and it was just beautiful. So it is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, if I haven't already said that. And I woke up still sick. Oh my God. I am now heavy in the chest. Well, I've always been heavy in the chest, but whatever. I'm heavy in the chest. I'm having a hard time breathing. I wish I had gone to the God dang doctor. Okay, but here's, here's my stocking. It's like 15 foot long. This is just the the foot part. <laughs> okay. This is just the foot part. Uh, it's always been um, a joke in our family to fill it up. <laughs> it's never going to happen, Captain. But I wanted to tell you a Thanksgiving story. Okay. I'm in my pajamas. I just don't feel well. My granddaughter's on her way over here. I got to set the table. Okay. Here's a Thanksgiving story. <laughs> kind of sad in a way, but it kind of tells you my mother's personality. Towards the end of my mother's life, she watched elderly people. Some of them moved in with her. Uh, sometimes she just went down the street. She was taking care of this really rich elderly lady down in Comico Church, Comico, Northumberland County in Virginia. Uh, my parents are buried in the front yard. Yes, you can do that. Okay. So, my, um, my mother always had trouble with her appliances, you know. So, um, she had bought this really old farmhouse from this eccentric artist who had big metal um, 
like 20 foot tall things that he had soldered or, oh, I forgot the word. But her stove went out on Thanksgiving. Now, my parents, Thanksgiving was a three-day extravaganza. If you was in that house, you were expected to stand over the sink just to do dishes. It would take my father half a day just to cut up the onions and the celery, and he was famous for putting too much sage in the dressing. So my mother was heartbroken when her stove stopped working. So because she, you know, was going down the street to watch this elderly lady once in a while, uh, I don't know her, her schedule but whatever she went into this lady's house and put the her turkey in this other lady's oven well lo and behold my mom got caught and she got terminated she got fired which is you know it's not the it's not the holiday spirit you know if there was no cur if they weren't fixing a turkey they should have let my mother cook her turkey in there so another memory is our family was famous for playing this card game called rook and it was brutal. Uh, once you got into this game, you may not make it out alive. I remember a couple times people being chased around the house with a butcher knife. Now, I am not going to name names because one of them is still alive, okay? It got brutal. You, you, um, it didn't matter if you were playing with your partner or against your partner. There was going to be a fight because Rook is this game where you get, there's a rooster on the front, um, but yeah, this was uh, a, a game that you better be prepared to get pissed off, to get angry, to laugh your ass off. Uh, so yeah, so um, hope you enjoyed my little story. Happy Thanksgiving again, and I wish the hell I'd gone to the doctor. Oh my God, uh, it's hard for me to breathe. I'm gonna have to try to just stay together keep it together for my granddaughter so make that crab dip try to get back then if you can it's very expensive but it will be a very big holiday treat uh, also I remember making oyster stuffing uh, if you've never had oyster stuffing try it all right bye everyone